slide out the tray. Now, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use an older graphics card that may or may not be compatible. Um, I will. I'm actually going to try it out. You know, I'll, let's let's test it out. In this video, you will see a older graphics card, the Radeon HD 5750. So then you just slide it right back inside. And you're good to go. Now just enter your power, your Thunderbolt cable. I'm gonna put in my um, ethernet cable as well. And let's find out if it works. Last but not least, let's plug in the power. We'll see what happens. Move that out of the way a little bit. And there it is. The fan is spinning. The lights came on for a second. Yep, the lights are on. It's You can kind of see the colors changing. Just a little bit at a time. See how it's turning green a little bit now. So that's looking good so far in our laptop here. We now have power again. So that's a good sign. There's, there's power, there's um, the ethernet, but for some reason, that's not working. So let's see if we can diagnose that. So display is not connected, it's, or not detected, nothing but the regular in, onboard display. Let's go to updates. There we go. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that, it, it, Windows Updates is now downloading the AMD drivers for this device. That's the next step. So once you have your graphics card inside, go to Windows Updates, or if you're a little bit more prepared, you can already have the downloader installed for your AMD uh, or uh, NVIDIA device. For the driver software, uh, whichever, whichever one you put in there, and you will be good to go. Okay, so it looks like it's preparing to install the updates. It's, already, it's just downloaded them. Again, this thing is still spinning. Okay, so I just booted. I just booted the Razer Blade Stealth with the Razer Core. It's got the old graphics card inside. Keyboard's unresponsive so far. You got the internet logo here. It looks like it's disconnecting, then trying to reconnect. So right now it's at Wi-Fi and says it can't find, there we go. All right, and keyboard is working. Okay, so this time it still shows internal HD, uh, Intel HD graphics 520. So we still have the same internal graphics card, which unfortunately means that it's not using the, the Razer Core for graphics probably because that's an unsupported graphics card so it's not a huge deal um, this is kind of a, a test yep nothing to in install nothing download nothing to install let's see if it has if it's running it's not even running that software let's see if it even installed it at all uh, what was it called again catalyst it's got nothing there. AMD. So that's a web search. So there's nothing showing up on here. The last thing we can do is come up here to control panel, check out the programs that are installed. It's the most recent thing that was installed, Adobe Reader. So it looks like the drivers aren't installed. Let's, let's manually install the drivers. Okay, so 
this is the, uh, I don't really care about AMD software on here right now. Installation complete, warnings occurred during installation. So there were some warnings, let's view the log, see if that tells us anything. Error, specified driver package was not installed for matching devices. So it failed. I said it's installed complete, but obviously it didn't work. So let's reboot the system now. Now we'll find out whether or not an older graphics card works, well really, that specific graphics card works in the Razer Core with this device. Okay, so again, all right, so we have the lights back. That's a good sign. The lights are back. It's under Wi-Fi power though, or it's under Wi-Fi internet. Uh oh, okay, here we go. It's connecting to the ethernet. That shows the power is on. So good things are happening here. Keyboard is unresponsive. Here we go, okay, keyboard responsive. It's actually pretty hot right now. It's working hard. Okay, we have internet connection with the through the core. So that's all working. Let's go into DXDiag. Here we go, it's collecting. Oh. Still claims to have, okay, wow, things are crashing. Um, it does still show HD Graphics 520. Let's find out. So this is installed. This says a new driver is available. So let's, let's see what's going on with this. Okay, so this device, the HD 5700, is being registered. It, it, it does understand what it is. So let's try to update it through the device manager and see if it will switch over to it. So it's, it says the best driver for your device is already installed. Okay, I don't see any other errors. There's a little bit of, there's the Intel display audio. It's complaining, but that's not related. The graphics card is being seen. It's understanding it. It's it's even able to download enough information to know what it is, but it doesn't download all the drivers. Okay, so what we've learned today is that despite the core working, the uh, the as far as the UI pass through is is working just fine. The USB controller, the Ethernet. Um, power, everything seems to be working with the Razer Blade Stealth. It even registers that the 5750 is installed, Radeon HD 5750 is installed, but the graphics drivers to run the 5750 will not install, which means that these older graphics cards, at least this particular graphics card, when they say it's not supported, it actually, that one specifically doesn't work at all with the Razer Core. So now it may be possible to go ahead and switch to the uh, Razer, or maybe, maybe, yeah, the Razer Blade 2016 and try and get those drivers put inside um, the Stealth. I don't entirely feel comfortable with that just because this is a major driver and during my day, I use it for a lot of things and so I really can't have a lot of downtime with it. Um, so for all intents and purposes here, Older graphics cards do not work in the Razer Core with the Razer Blade Stealth. There may be ways you can hack it to get it to work, but it'll be just that, a hack. It will not be, it is not supported. Razer does not say it will be supported. Um, and so that's what we're dealing with. All right, if, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe uh, and comment below on if you wanna see any other videos around the Razer Blade uh, Stealth and the Razer Core um, or any other related content to my computer setups, maybe a PF Sense, my server, um, my router I mean, the PF, the FreeNAS server the, for that I use for, with Plex to run uh, that where I digitized all of my movies um, and put them into there so that we can enjoy that content, content anywhere we go as well as throughout the house without having to do a bunch of discs. Um, any of that content you're interested in seeing, let me know in the comments below. Um, but again, please like and subscribe this video. Uh, it, it helps a lot. Watch my other videos. I've got, a, I've got an unboxing and kind of review of the Razer Core. Um, 
I've got a, a review of the Razor Blade Stealth, uh, and I'll probably do another uh, video soon where I put the uh, GTX 980 that's in my desktop uh, into the core so you can actually see what it's really like to use with external graphics and see what that workflow could be like. Thank you much for watching and we'll see you next time.